Welcome to ADN TV Studios in Nairobi. Today was a historic day in Somalia. After more than 15 months delay, polls were finally completed and a legislature chosen. With a sense of accomplishment and heightened security, 300 MPs from both the lower and upper houses of parliament took their oaths of office. <laughs> Somalia has sworn in its new National Assembly in Mogadishu Thursday. The long-anticipated event went off without any disturbance at the Afisioni camp. Hundreds of spectators, including candidates for president, attended the ceremony. <laughs> Deputy Prime Minister Madi Gouled was among those sitting in prominent positions. Prime Minister Mohamed Roble also attended. He was widely praised for shepherding the election to its conclusion. Security was tight following a recent attack on the Halani camp and Mogadishu airport. Al-Shabaab said that it fired mortars at the venue early Thursday before the swearing-in began. Some of the munitions missed their target and landed near Aden Ade International Airport. No casualties were reported. Many of the newly chosen MPs arrived early to breathe in the historic day. Government spokesman Mohamed Moalimu, who was recently injured in an Al-Shabaab attack, was one of the early arrivals. So was former Mogadishu police boss Sadiq John. Southwest state MPs took their oath of office with the rest. Earlier, State President Abdi Aziz Loftigarin had ordered them not to. But a last minute deal with the federal election implementation team ended with the approval of the outcome for seats HOP number 103 and HOP number 204, and the boycott was avoided. 16 seats from Gato and Jubaland have not been filled. The FEIT issued a statement after the swearing-in saying they would be contested in El Wek in the coming days. There is already rampant speculation about who will run for the speaker post, which will be voted on soon. A date for the presidential balloting should be forthcoming as well. ADN TV will continue to report on developments as Somalia completes its national elections.